Hello everybody, welcome back to War Thunder. And yes, my computer was fixed. Fortunately, it was not out of action for too long. And we are able to do a video today. So, sorry for the wait, but here we are. Now that I've officially done the first stage of the Tog 2 event, um, I can relax and play some cute little baby tanks rather than uh, sweating out my Germans. Now, uh, this is of course the M22 Locust, fairly infamous iconic little tank just because of how adorable it is. It's tiny! It's like a little go-kart. And well, it's a lot of fun. As you can see, it's very, very fast. And uh, it's small, it's compact, and at this plucky little battle rating, it is a not bad machine. And we're going to be testing it out on the new map. This is... Mm, I was going to say Maginot Line. It's Flanders. Um, named after the village of Flanders. Um, and based off of the World War I uh, battle around said village, made famous by the In Flanders Field poem. Now, uh, I'm not sure if this map is actually set in World War I or just a couple years after. I think it's a couple years after because it looks a bit more clean and like na nature's taking over and stuff. But there is still a crashed Zeppelin for those of you that have played Battlefield 1. Um, this will probably remind you of the uh, Giant's Shadow map. Or even those of you that have played World of Tanks, it will remind you of the updated version of Redshear, which also features a crashed Zeppelin. And I have just realized how uh, overextended I'm being. Now, where are the enemies? I mean, I just saw one go that way, but we only have a 37mm gun, so we're going to have to be fairly close ranged. You know, we're in a light tank, a very fast, small light tank, so we've basically got to use our speed to our advantage, so it could be extra, extra sneaky. Now, I must admit, I'm not a big fan of this map, actually. Um, I think, whoa, there's a tank right there. I didn't even see that till the last second there. Boom. Uh, yeah. Uh, it sometimes feels a bit too open. And, well, I haven't really come into danger until I actually got to the town, so I guess by that respect, being open's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't know, I, just, I guess I just haven't had much success on this map yet. Come on, Stug. Come on, Stug. Down you go. Let's kill number two. Go. Oh wow, there's an armoured train on this map, I didn't even realise. Okay, that's quite cool. Uh, I mean, it's quite a small armoured train, but still, it's very cute. Look at that! It's pretty cool. But right now we need to figure out... Oh, there he is! Okay, so there's the Swedish version of the Panzer 38T there. And there's a B Team 7. Very unsuspecting B Team 7. Uh oh. Alright, we got his gunner. Pounce, pounce, pounce. Go, 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 go. Flank. Let's load her. No, they got me. Ah, oh, fair enough. Yeah, sometimes you do have to aim. Fortunately, we do have a... Actually, no, we won't go in the Locust yet. Um, I was going to say we do have a backup. We do have a backup. But we're going to jump in the Dauntless with a very snazzy skin. I say a very snazzy skin. This is more like the classic Dauntless from the actual Pacific War. The one in-game, for some reason, is the very limited use uh, early... Second World War. Um, pretty much once America actually joined World War II, they did away with the uh, the red parts in their roundels, purely so they wouldn't get confused with the Japanese. So there's a little fun fact. And yeah, it's the Dawn. It's, it's an iconic um, dive bomber. One of the best of the war, in fact. Uh, right up there with the Stuka and the D3A Val. 
Although saying that those three were probably the only real proper good dedicated dive bombers. Um, everyone else just tried and didn't quite work out so well. Blackburn Skewer, I'm looking at you. But anywho, we have two 100 pound bombs which are really just for show. You have to be very precise if you want to get a kill with one of these things. Which as you can see is not happening. All we did is took off their track. But we also have a 1,000 pounder, which is more than enough of wiping out any... <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. I guess no Dauntless. Fine. This is what I get for not playing the Locust. Alright. Off to the Locust we go. Just when they had to interrupt me with that speech there. But we're doing alright though. We're third on the team. Um, three kills. Let's see if we can try and push to get to first. Who knows? You never know. Look at the speed on this thing. I mean, it only weighs oh, 7.4 tons. That's one of the lighter vehicles in this game. He's one of the lighter actual tanks in this game, anyway. Oh, watch out for the trench. Alright, let's see what we can find. Okay, this part of the map looks a lot more World War One esque I've got to say. Alright, what do we see, guys? What do we see? Ooh. Okay, nothing as of yet, but there's guys near B, so... Oh, there's one. It's Panzer II, DAC! And... A BT-7. We killed each other! We killed each other. Alright. Let's spawn at the other one this time so I can showcase a bit more of the map. And this is a vehicle you do not see too often on the battlefield. It is the M8 Greyhound, which is actually decently common in the form of the Chinese version, which is for some reason the reserve for China. Whereas the US, who used this thing in spades during the Second World War, get it as a rare event premium. So, yeah, I'm not sure why that is, but oh well. Alright, this is another very, very fast vehicle. It is called the M8 Greyhound, after all. I suppose uh, they kind of had to make it fast with a name like that. But because it is a wheeled vehicle, you're going to see that we're kind of struggling to get to top speed over this rougher terrain. Unlike with the Locust. We no longer have the advantage. But still, it's fast enough and we have a roof mounted 50 cal, which can actually do some serious damage down at this tier. Alright, what have we got, guys? Oh, wow. Okay, it's the SDKFZ that shot me down while I was in the Dauntless. Okay, perfect time for revenge. And a BT 7 again. The enemy controls most of the strategic zone. Oh! Ouch. Okay, um, it's Battle of the Armoured Cars, and at the moment I am very much losing. Okay, unfortunately our 50 cow is out of action. But so are they. Alright, just reload. There we go. But no! Just as I do so, another SDKFC manages to take us out as well. But we're not done yet. We have more little tanks to play with. This is purely just a back to basics video. I feel like I've been grinding a lot of higher tier lately, especially with the event going on. So it's sometimes nice to chillax a bit. And while I haven't done amazingly, I know I am in second place, but you know, it's not been like a game of the year. Especially when you factor in I'm an experienced player at low tier and I'm still not doing incredible. It can be nice just to kick back and relax. You know, it's not a big deal if you have a decent game or what, not in low tier. It's just fun to do, you know, spread it out. I'm not, you know, like when some people play, oh, I only play top tier. I hate playing low tier. I hate playing props. I hate playing World War II stuff. It's like, mm, no, don't be that guy that just lives in the F-16. It's, it doesn't make you an interesting War Thunder player, unfortunately. Variety 
is the spice of life. There's over a thousand vehicles in this game. You may as well try and branch out a little bit. Anywho, enough about that. Oh, oh dear. I was kind of hoping I could go through that. And now there's another armored car. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's the uh, the stubby pack puma. Fair enough. You know what? I'm not even going to complain. Like I said, this is a chill, relaxed video and a chill, relaxed game. And while the M8 Scott didn't go too well, uh, hopefully the M8 Stewart, M8 Stewart, M3 Stewart, can uh, claw back our dignity a little bit. Look how many machine guns this has. A bit excessive, but um, that's just, you know, that's just how the Americans rolled at the start of the war. I mean, how many machine guns is that? That's one, two, three, four, five. Do you need five 30 cows? Um, yeah. Unfortunately, in game, it's quite hard to actually make use of them. Because they're only 30 cows, and uh, three of them don't actually move. So, yeah. Okay, phew, I thought that was too deep. The Stuart really is a fantastic little tank in this game. Um, it kind of teaches you to play main battle tanks at an early stage, because they're great all-rounders. You know, decent armor, good speed, decent gun. It's just an all-purpose vehicle. Kind of, It's like playing a low-tier XM1 Abrams. It's just that fun. Let's check out that armored train again, shall we? If I can find it. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's actually modeled. There's actually people inside it. Okay. Uh, that's really weird. Looks like you can't go through the turret, but alright. Okay. You can actually destroy these. Alright. The more you know. Nice to add those little details in, so we'll take that. Oh, it's a Swede. No effect. And he's hiding. No, he's not. Non pen. Non pen again. How about we just ignore him for the time being? And oh my word, what is that? It's a Marder 3. Oh, that was lucky. Don't want to get shot by a Marder 3. Easily the scariest gun in this battle rating. Outflank the Swede. Gotta be quite careful with this map. It's very open if you go the wrong way. As you can see, like the only cover we have are some flowers. Right. Well, it's close between one and two. Non-penetration on the side of a Panzer three. That's more like it. Sorry, buddy. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh, he got me. Fair and square. But I scraped my way into first place. Will it be able to hold before the game ends? Who knows? Oh, I have a backup for the Scott. I didn't even realize. Hopefully, this goes a little bit better because this is a thoroughly underrated tank, I've got to say. Um. Amazing little thing. The only thing that sucks about this thing is the turret traverse speed, as you can see, it's really quite slow. But they basically took an M5 Stewart, or an M. Yeah, no, it is an M5 Stewart, and then they put one of the LVT howitzer turrets on. So while it is open top, you have a 75mm 
howitzer and it gets a heat round and it's mighty powerful and the best part is the reload isn't even long I mean what is the reload on this thing yeah four four seconds somehow I don't know how they got it so short but I'm not complaining that they did to be honest it's not really looking like we'll actually get a chance to bonk someone this big old thing but we've had a solid game it feels good to be back in War Thunder. When my PC kind of crapped itself, I was a bit worried that, you know, it might take longer to fix it. And that would mean no videos, and that would mean no Friday games. And yes, Friday games is going ahead tomorrow, same time as last time, 4pm till 6pm. So come along for that, just as the game ends. And there you go. Not a bad run. Casual game. That was just back to basics. So, there you go. Uh, what was that? Nine kills? N nine kills. Um, and we got a new camo, so yay. Anywho, if you like that video, do hit the like button. It really helps the channel out. And, of course, subscribe for more. That helps the channel out even more. We're really close to a thousand subscribers. And check the uh, check out the Patreon. It's um, pretty, pretty basic as of now. Um, but you can check it out. Um, feel free to subscribe. Don't have to, but you know, if you want, it's there. So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.